hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Osetale. if this is the first time you are seeing any of our videos you are highly welcome to our channel please endeavor to hit the subscribe button and notification bell today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful roach gown with balloon sleeves if that's something you guys are interested in keep on watching this video and let's go straight to the tutorial welcome back guys for this tutorial, I'll be making use of this doll face fabric. So that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead now to start the cutting. I'm going to open my fabric on the table, okay? So you're just going to open your fabric on the table like this. And you're going to bring these two ends. Did you see this end like this? So that's what you're going to place together, just the way you see me doing it. You're going to place the two ends together like that. Then you open it up on the table so guys when you open it up you're going to have something like this okay so now you're going to bring the other parts like that and you place it on it like this leaving a space of about one and a half inch which is going to serve as the zipper allowance okay so i'm going to be cutting the front and the back pieces together so that's why i folded my fabric like this that's going to be the for the front and the other one will be for the back so right now guys i'm going to go ahead to start cutting i will just rule a line here which is going to serve as my starting line okay so guys after running that line i'm going to take my shoulder measurement divided by two plus half inch you are going to start your measurement from the front piece not from the back one that has the zipper allowance so you place your eight inches there which is my shoulder measurement divided by two plus half inch sewing allowance you come to this end and do the same thing then you go ahead and connect the dots okay so guys after connecting that line i'm going to take my neck width i'll be making use of seven inches neck width divided by two i have 3.5 so i'm going to mark 3.5 there then i'll come down here by one inch for the shoulder slope so i'm just going to connect it like that so guys after you're done doing that now the next step is to i'll measure from here down i'll measure eight inches downwards from that point then i'm going to rule the line that's going to be for the armhole so after i'm done getting that i'll go ahead to take the length of my dress i'll measure down to the waistline which is 16 inches then i'm going to rule it now i'm going to go ahead to measure from uh, the shoulder to the hip line so my hip line is 25 inches i'm going to mark it and as well roll it so guys after doing that now i'm just going to draw my fabric upward so that you will see what i'm doing so right now i'm going to place my tape on this hip line maintaining that 25 inches that is our hip measurement then i'm going to take the full length of this top the full length i'm going to be making use of is 34 inches so guys i'm just going to mark my 34 inches there you know it's a watch gown so i'm going to be adding extra 10 inches to my full length so i'm just going to measure from that full length i will measure down extra 10 inches so i'm just going to mark 45 that's 11 inches then i'll add extra one and a half for the folding and all of that then i'm going to go ahead and connect it so guys now that we have gotten all the measurements that we need i will draw my fabric backwards again so that you see what i'm doing now i'm going to come to this line and i'll take the bust measurements divided by four so i'm going to mark it then i'm going to be adding extra one and a half inches for ease my actual measurement that's what i took there then i will add extra one and a half inches for the ease then extra one inch for the sewing allowance okay so that's what you're going to have there now you come to the waistline and take the waist measurement divided by four mine is seven inches then i will add one and a half inch for ease as well then i'll add one inch for sewing allowance then i'll come to the hip line okay then the hip measurement i will take the hip measurement divided by four okay then this is it i'll be adding two inches for the ease here two inches two inches for ease and one inch for the sewing allowance so i'm just going to measure what i have on this hip line i will take it on the full length and the extended full length i'll just you know mark it there guys i added one and a half inch for ease because this watch gown is not totally tight 
on the body so it is a little bit loose so when you take your actual measurement endeavor to add one and a half or one inch depends on how loose you want it to be to your actual measurement just the way i did here so guys after i was done taking the measurement you can see i went ahead to start connecting all the dots okay so this is what you're going to do you're just going to connect all the dots like this So guys, after connecting all the dots, you're going to have a shape like that. Now for the armhole, I will take the measurement I have here and divide it by two. Then I'm going to go in by half inch. Then I will use that to connect the armhole, okay? So guys, this is what you are going to have after connecting the armhole. Now I'm going to be measuring the neck. You know, we are making use of neck depth of three and a half inches. So how deep my V neck is going to be is I'm going to be making use of a V neckline of eight inches. I will add extra half inch for the joining allowance of the shoulder. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. So guys that's for the front neckline for the back neckline i will be coming down by one inch okay so you're just going to mark one inch and connect it like this then you're going to use your curve ruler to make a curve there so guys this is what you're going to have right now i'm going to go ahead to cut this out So guys, this is what you're going to have after cutting, okay? You're just going to extend that zipper line and you make a notch there. So right now, I'm going to place these front and back pieces aside. Then we go ahead to draft the sleeves. For the sleeve, I'm going to fold my fabric into four like this. Just the same way we folded our fabric when we were cutting out the body. You can see I have 27 inches uh, as the length of the fabric I have here, which is perfect. So I'm just going to come here and go down by 6 inches. And I'm just going to connect like this. Just watch carefully what I'm doing, guys. So you're just going to use your free hand to connect the sleeve. Just make an inverted S kind of a shape on it like that. Just the way you see me doing it. So this is what you are going to do guys, you can see. So this is how you are going to connect your sleeve. It is very easy. So just follow the steps at which I did it. So after you are done doing that, now I will measure my armhole measurement is 19 inches divided by 2, I have 9 and half. So I'm just going to measure 9 and half on this line that I have here. This is where my nine and a half is. I'm going to mark it. You know, there's going to be a pleat at the cap area. So I'll be measuring two and a half inches for that pleat. Then I will add extra one and a half inches for the sewing allowance. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. Right now for the muzzle, you're just going to measure 10 inches there for the muzzle. Then, you know, it's a balloon sleeve. So I'm just going to be measuring 13 inches at the end there for the sleeve because it has to have a balloon effect at that end then you're going to go ahead and connect it just the way you see me doing so guys now that we are done connecting i'll take the full length the full length of my sleeve is 24 inches i'll be adding extra one and a half inches for the joining and the folding and all of that okay then you're going to go ahead and roll the line then after doing that i'll just go ahead and cut this out so guys that is it this is how to draft out the sleeve now we are done cutting out the measurement just make a notch there okay so guys this brings us to the end of the cutting process you can see we have the sleeves and these are the front and back pieces okay so i'm just going to place the sleeve aside now then we we'll go ahead to start working on the front and back pieces i'll first of all remove the front piece then i'm going to extend this zipper line that we have here on the back piece okay so you're just going to extend it now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and i'm just going to you know 
sew it down i'm just going to join it together following that line this is what i had after i was done joining it together guys you can see i also went ahead to use the overlock sewing machine to weave it as i always do so if you have watched my tutorial you know i always like to weave my fabric whenever i'm sewing you can see the weaving i did there so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead to iron this flat so guys this is what i had after i was done ironing you can see so right now it's time for me to join the shoulders i'm just going to place the front piece on the back piece like this then i'll take it to the sewing machine and join it this is what i had after i was done joining guys you can see i also weave it okay so that is it right now what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to be turning the neckline you can see i have a fabric of 1.25 inches wide and it is a very long fabric now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be opening up this uh, zipper area a little bit okay just open it up that a little bit there then i will be sewing this um rope fabric that i have here to the neckline so i'm going to turn my fabric to the wrong face you can see i have it turned to the wrong face then i will place it on the fabric the right face of the rope facing the wrong face of the fabric okay then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i will just sew it on the neckline like that okay so this is what i'm going to go ahead to do right now this is what i had after i was done sewing the um lining that i'm going to be using to turn the neck to the fabric okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i will turn my fabric to the right side then i'm just going to go ahead to fold this fabric like this the way you see me doing it okay then i'm going to go ahead to sew it so first of all i'm just going to pin it down guys so that you see exactly what i'm explaining so you're going to fold it like that making sure that it is covering the seam so guys you're just going to fold it like that and you will pin it down you can see what i'm having right now so this is how you are going to continue to do it until you get to the end then after you are done doing that you will take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch on it like that okay so guys this is what i had after i was done running that stitch you can see how beautiful the neckline is looking so this is how you're supposed to do it now the next thing i'm going to do is this um v area of the neck i'm just going to place it together like this okay then i will stitch it so that it can give me that v effect because the neck is a v neckline so so this is what i had after i was done stitching it guys so i'm just going to flip it to the right side and so you see the effect of what i just did you can see our neck is looking really really v now because we have stitched down that part now that i'm done ironing the next thing i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to go ahead to fix the zipper so this is the zipper i'm going to be using for this dress i'm just going to open up this zipper area where i'm going to be putting my zip then i will go ahead and you know attach the zip to it this is what i had after i was done attaching the zip to it guys you can see our zip is looking really perfect i did the zip in a way that the zip wouldn't show so that is it now guys the next step is i'm going to be attaching the sleeves so i'm going to bring my sleeve like this then i'm going to open it up this end area here where i'm going to be putting an elastic band i'm just going to take it to the same machine and i will fold it fold it in a way that my elastic band will be able to enter inside okay then i will do it that i will do the same thing to the other sleeve this is what i had after i was done folding it guys you can see now i'll be cutting my elastic band with eight inches so i'm just going to measure and cut eight inches i will use that to cut out another one for the other sleeve now i will use my safety pin okay i'm going to be using my safety pin this to put the elastic band through that fold that we made so i'm just going to go ahead to do that so guys when you get to the end here you are just going to use a pin to pin it down okay you pin it down then you just go ahead to do it till you get to the other end 
so guys this is what you're going to have after you're done doing it then right now i'll pin this part down again then i'll take this to the sewing machine and stitch it on both sides then i'll go ahead and put elastic band on the other sleeve so guys this is what i had after i was done placing elastic band on the both sleeves so this is it right now i'm going to bring my fabric okay then i'm going to open it up like this i will bring one of the sleeves so i'm just going to place it on the armhole area like that then i will sew it on it when i get to this point i'm going to make pleats you know it's a it's a sleeve that has pleats on the cap area so you're just going to make pleats on it like that then you sew it to the end i'll do the same thing to the other sleeve this was what i had after i was done fixing the sleeves to the fabric you can see how it came out guys i also went ahead to use the overlock machine to weave it so guys now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead to join the sides of this fabric together so i'm just going to place the fabric together like this starting from the sleeve area so i'm just going to place the sleeve together like this you can see what i'm doing guys then i'll take it to the sewing machine and join it using one inch so guys this is what i had after i was done joining the fabric together you can see they also went ahead to weave it to give it a nice finish in there now what i'm going to do is you can see this line i have here this is the waistline so for that roach effect that we have on the sides there what i'm going to do is i'm just going to iron the seam at the side flat so you're just going to iron it flat like this okay now that i'm done ironing guys you can see this um, waist area i'm just going to go ahead and run a stitch on both sides of that seam using leaving like about half inch where i'll put the rope through then i'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side but before i do that guys i'm going to be hemming the damp part of this dress because i'm going to hem it separately because of that roach we'll be putting in so i will lose the both sides then i'll go ahead and hem the front and the back of this dress then after i'm done doing it then i will sew it as i earlier demonstrated so guys this is what i had after i was done hemming the damp part and sewing the sides as i told you guys you can see now i have space where i'll put the rope through so now i'm going to go ahead and bring my ropes so these are ropes i have already fold that i'll be putting on the side then i will use my safety pin to put the rope through the hole that i have there at the side so i'm just going to place it on it like this okay then i will just put it through it till i get to the waist area where i will stop so guys this is how you are going to continue to do it now that i'm at the waist area then i'm going to bring out the safety pin with the rope then i'll remove it and i will use my pin to pin it down so that it will not pull inside okay so you're just going to pin the rope to the fabric like that you can see now i'm going to go ahead now to put the other rope through the other side then when you get to the end i mean the waist area you're also going to pin it down just the way we did for the first one so guys after you are done doing it like this now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and i will just stitch it down okay just stitch it to secure the rope then i'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side place the rope and stitch so guys this is what i had after i was done placing the ropes on both sides you can see i stitch it down and all that so this is it guys this is basically all for this dress i am done so i'm just going to go ahead now and pull this rope so that you will see the watch effect of this style that's actually the style the whole watch effect is actually the style of this dress then when you have put it to how you want the wash to be you're just going to go ahead and tie it up then do the same thing to this other side so guys this is it this is how to make your very own wash gown you can see how pretty it's looking at the table let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section if you love this tutorial don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching see you all in our next video bye